Hey everyone, so in today's video, I am bringing you my absolute favorite skin-like foundation. So all these foundations truly just look like skin. At the end of the day, they're going to give you the effect of your skin being covered while also still looking like skin, while not looking like there is a lot of product on your face. I love every single one of these foundations. I wanted to focus this video on truly skin-like foundations, and skin isn't incredibly dewy and it's not incredibly matte. Skin is kind of somewhere in the middle, so all of these foundations kind of achieve that middle ground, not being incredibly dewy and not being incredibly matte, though there will be kind of a spectrum within all of these. I'm sharing demos of every single one of these products and quick reviews. So I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. And if you do, give it a thumbs up. I do believe that this is the maddest out of all of the skin-like foundations we're talking about today, but I do have dry skin. And actually I do think that this is one of those foundations that will work for a multitude of skin types. So what I'm wearing today is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. I'm always blown away whenever I try out this foundation because, because this is truly an incredibly fluid and lightweight foundation while also giving quite a bit of coverage. So it retails for between $12 and $15 depending where you get it. So an incredibly affordable foundation. And it also comes in 40 different shades. I personally have the shade 405. It's the one I'm wearing today. And I think it's a really great shade match. Chances are there is one that will suit you. You get a standard one fluid ounce in here. I never really find myself saying, wow, this is good for being drugstore. I just think that the formula in and of itself is really spectacular. There are a few reasons I really like this foundation. One, it's incredibly lightweight. Um, feeling it on my face right now. It really doesn't feel like there's any makeup on whatsoever. I really enjoy that about this foundation. Two, it gives me quite a bit of coverage. So if I'm having any acne spots or if I just feel like I really need a decent amount of coverage, you can really, really build this up. But because this is such a fluid and lightweight foundation, I never feel like I can really feel the coverage on my skin. It's actually quite long wearing as well. And I think that is because of how thin the formula is and how it adheres to the skin to really look like skin. I'm always blown away by, again, the amount of coverage that it's giving my skin while looking so skin-like and being so breathable. If you're looking for a skin-like foundation and you lean a little bit more on the combination to oily side, I would absolutely recommend this one. But I have dry skin and I still find it to look like skin on my skin. But you can see that it isn't a very, very dewy look. It has that skin-like finish that I think a lot of you will really, really enjoy. Another foundation product that I really enjoy is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinting Moisturizer. I was really impressed when I tried this one out. I think the formula is incredibly unique and it also is quite affordable. So it retails for $14 and you get 1.45 ounces in here, which is great because with foundation products, you get typically around one ounce of products. Whereas other brands are cutting the amount that they give you. I like that ColourPop is doing a little bit more. It also comes in 24 different shades, which is great, especially for a skin tint, because I feel like a lot of brands tend to do less shades when they have really skin-like light coverage makeup. One thing that I really enjoy about the ColourPop Pretty Fresh is the texture. I actually did a review comparing this to the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, so if you're interested, I'll I'll leave a link down below for you. But this texture is really unique to me. It feels kind of like a water cream and it immediately sort of melts on the skin when you apply it. And it feels refreshing, not necessarily cooling, but it just kind of feels like another layer of skincare, kind of like a water cream consistency that a lot of Korean skincare products have. But when you apply it, it's very lightweight. So it doesn't feel heavy the way that some other tinted moisturizers do. I really like that this one is more on the lightweight side. As for the coverage, it's more on the sheer side. You can definitely get um, a decent medium coverage with this, but you're really not gonna get too much more out of it. If I want something great for every day to apply, that's easy to blend and really looks like skin, I would go with this, especially if I want something more on the lightweight side. I think that this is really great for all different skin types as well, but it isn't as long wearing as something like the L'Oreal. Truly, I think what makes this product stand out is that it's a skin tint that has so many different shades and truly just 
looks like skin when it is applied. You can see the texture of your skin, any freckles peeking through. It's really a pretty effect. This also does have hyaluronic acid, which pulls in water from the air into the skin. Though it does have a skin-like finish, you know, it's not incredibly dewy, incredibly matte. It will kind of rehydrate the skin as you're wearing it, which I do think is nice. I notice, at least when I'm wearing it, that I never feel like my skin looks dry throughout the day. So I'm not positive that that is the work of the hyaluronic acid. I do think that it was a nice addition. I definitely really, really like this one. So let's talk about the skin-like foundation that truly, when you first apply it, it has more of like a light to slightly medium coverage. But something so great about this is that no matter how much you build it up, it's kind of impossible to make this look bad. It really builds upon itself and builds upon itself to give you such a flawless finish that looks like skin. I don't know how they do it. It makes the skin look so fresh, but as if it's just your natural skin. There are definitely some foundations that I wear that kind of look like foundation just because of how dewy they are, but because this finish is just so in the middle, it becomes kind of untraceable, but it also photographs incredibly well and kind of has a slight airbrush quality to it. I have never, I mean really never had a bad makeup day when I have worn this. It's one of those things, I feel like a product like this is kind of once in a blue moon do you really find a product that you are 100% behind, you absolutely love, would spend $77 on it, it's this. It's absolutely this. It also lasts a surprising amount of time on my skin. There's never been a time when this has clung to dry patches or looked really, really dewy by the end of the day. I really don't know how they do it. Next we have the Glossier Skin Tint. I personally have the shade G12. This retails for $26 and it comes in 12 different shades. The shade range is definitely better than it was back in the day. I think back in the day they only had like four or five shades and I'm really glad that they finally expanded their shade range. This to me, I always think of this as kind of like a quick filter product. If you want a really, really sheer coverage to your skin very quickly that doesn't look like makeup at all, this to me is a really cool product for that. And I like this because it is more of a skin-like finish. I've tried other skin tints before and they're a little bit more on the dewy side. This one's great because it mimics the skin's texture while still giving that slight bit of coverage. And I do feel like once you apply this, it does have a very subtle sort of blurring effect. This to me, is like going on Instagram with absolutely no makeup and then putting like a filter on it kind of just blurs everything you can tell that you're not wearing makeup but it just has this really subtle just barely there sort of look it's a very unique product and I could not do this video without mentioning this I do know that some people with oily skin find that this doesn't wear a long time on them, so that is something to keep in mind. But for those of you with dry skin or normal skin like me, I do find that it wears just fine. We've kind of gone from the most matte to like the most dewy throughout this video. This one is the dewiest skin-like finish, but to me it's still more skin-like than it would be just straight glossy dewy. And it is the MAC face and body. For me, it's like the OG skin tint sort of product. This is the four ounce version. I know that they do one with 1.7 ounces, I believe, for $31, but this one is $40. So if you're one of those people that is on a budget, but you have a little bit more money saved up and you can front the money, I guess, this product ends up coming out to $10 per ounce, which is drugstore pricing. I always like to tell you guys about the price per ounce and what I think about it. This comes in 13 different shades as well. At first, I did not like this as much as I thought I would. I tried it like years back and I was like, this, this just looks greasy. I don't understand why other people really enjoy this. Ever since I watched a video from Daisy Cash, she's one of my favorite YouTubers. I've mentioned her on my channel before, but she recommended applying it with the finger. So taking some on your fingers and you'll see in the demo as well, rubbing it together and then applying it to the skin. And it really does something. It really activates the foundation in a cool way. It will give you a really pretty light coverage, but when it's applied to the skin, it's really hard to tell where it starts and ends, which is really key with a skin-like foundation. 
it looks incredibly fresh and natural while still giving coverage. This is definitely a step above something like the Glossier Skin Tint. This is definitely going to give you a little bit more coverage than that, but you end up with just an incredibly effortless look to your skin. If you're in a hurry and you need to quickly apply a product like this, you can put some in your fingers, apply it, and it gives you that sort of effortless look while also making your skin look very put together. And the texture ends up looking really pretty on the skin, not apparent whatsoever. This is definitely one of those products that you could drag down onto the neck and it wouldn't look like you're wearing a bunch of foundation. Maybe out of all of the products that I'm talking about, just because at least on my skin, this is absolutely one of the most skin-like foundations that we've talked about today. And I only say that because this does have like a little bit more of a dewy finish. And because I have dry skin, that kind of balances me out a little bit to give me like a really true skin-like finish. I love it. I think it's a really, really good deal, the amount of product that you get. And it's also just so easy taking something like this for traveling, applying it quickly. This to me, because of that reason, is great for like vacation makeup as well. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you share my love of skin-like natural makeup, I really hope that you will subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. And let me know down below what kind of videos you wanna see upcoming on my channel. I'm always in the comments. I'm always listening to you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.